Oops. <sighs> Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> no, man, I'm just filling the kettle. It's cold today, mind. Welcome back to Dave's allotment, anyway. Autumn. It's definitely here. Winter's definitely on the way. It's cold today, mind. Get that kettle filled. Ah, it's freezing. It's definitely winter's coming and all that kind of thing. So today I'm going to probably have a fire, tidy up. Do a few other things, two seconds folks. That's it. Filled for the day. Ah, there's a few things I, I could be getting on with. It's still fine, but it doesn't look very promising. It's been raining nearly on and off all week. Again. It's hard to do this in one hand, folks. Um, I so I might as well spin you around here, show you what I'm going to do. Read. Alright, so what the first job is, I'm going to get the leaves off the path because it's becoming a bit slippy there. And the other day I was up for half an hour I started cutting back the apple tree because like I say it's well all the apples are gone now and uh, everything else is looking airy so I'll get on with that chop off a few of the, the long branches I don't really want to stand on the soil because it's soaking but I'll get rid of all of these branches here they should have been pruned off in the, in the summer, really. And I'm going to prune all of the dead, diseased and crossing branches off here. That's my job for the day. Also, I don't know. I'll figure something out. But I'm going to... Oh, that's what I'm going to do. Start getting some more soil out of there. Because it's not needed anymore. And I'm going to go and get this kettle on. Shouldn't take long to boil, hopefully. Season a bit. Right folks, just while that kettle is boiling, I didn't I forgot to uh, switch my mic round, so you probably didn't even hear what I was talking about before, so I'll show you again. This one be doing the day. As you can see it's the sun is trying to get out, but there's grey clouds all over. Uh, so I I'm gonna Tidy this path up a bit here. Get rid of the weeds. Hey, get rid of the weeds. Get rid of the get rid of the leaves. It's quite a bit of a tongue twister that. And as I was, as I was saying, I've started stripping these branches off the apple tree last time I was up. I only had half an hour, so I didn't get much done. But I, like I say, I've, I've I've just told you all this. I don't know if you heard us. All these branches here be coming off. They're all of the branches that should have been trimmed off in the summer. Right. The ground's soaking wet like. So I don't think I'll be doing any digging today or for the rest of the winter by the looks of it. I want to try and get rid of this uh, soil a bit more. Or I might even just make it a bit smaller. I don't know yet. I'll come across that when I come to it. Not a lot. Right, so I'll get this kettle boil, I'll see you in a bit. Right folks, as always, cup of time. Ah, it's freezing, like I keep saying, it is, it's not freezing cold like. But you can see me breath, it's cold enough. It's one of them days where it's like, Oh, I can't be bothered to do anything outside, but you've got to make most of the good weather. And there is always something to do on the plot, even throughout the winter. Like I said earlier, I'm going to prune some of them apple branches off, make it a bit more manageable for next year. And I might prune a couple of them uh, cherry trees branches off as well, because that's getting far too big now. It needs to come down really. But let's see how far we get. Um, there is also, there's, like I say, there's always something to do on the plot, apart from have cuppers. 
Now, I was thinking about getting the fire on. I'm not going to have one outside, like, just in case anything's hibernating. But uh, I've got a load of this wood. It's been drying. It's been drying for two years in the shed. <laughs> I was going to use it, and I'm, I'm still in two minds whether to use this. Instead of that four maker, I might make a little sort of fence bit around there out of these if you get me drift but I don't know I, I want to have a fire <laughs> so I might sacrifice these bits of wood to keep myself warm and also this time of year is also good for sharpening your spades sharpening your tools for over the winter give them a clean up in that I haven't got my cloth handy but later on I'll, I'll, I'll do that but before I do go and crack on, look at this spade. Now it, it, it really does um, pay you to buy good. And the best tools you can get, in my opinion, are the old ones you get from, well, you used to get in second-hand shops. Now look at that spade. It's had plenty of use. As you can see, And it hasn't snapped or anything. That's what you need, folks. Proper, proper tools. The old ones all go on the side of the shed, as you know. So anyway, I'm yammering. Where's my cuppa? Finish this before it gets cold. And before it gets dark, I'll crack on. Bye. Ah. Right, I think it's time for another brew. So I'll just quickly stick it on ya. Got the old Bunsen burner out. Just wanna use this rest of this gas out of here. Before I've gotta get rid of it. Anyway, I've been busy. Check it out. Check it out. Look at, can you see any difference over there? I've been pruning that tree back. I think I've done enough of that <laughs> so I've been just chopping the bits into manageable bits for the fire I let them dry out in the greenhouse and this is the pile that I've got to sort through now so as you can see that big branch is away so now the apples are easy access and all that I don't want to prune too much off just in case I do any damage to it but Aye, I'm just going to be busy this afternoon chopping this back into manageable bits and then I'll store them for next year. Right, cup of time. Season a bit. Well, it's starting to get in a bit dark now and I've just uh, done a little experiment there. I've got the rocket stove on to boil the kettle using twigs. Yeah, it's a bit smoky like. I just had to use some of that uh, fence wood just to get the flames going a bit there. Working a treat there now. I, I was just experimenting to see if I could uh, burn these, but they're a bit damp still. So I've been busy anyway, I've got them all in the greenhouse. I'll show you what else I've been doing. Today, instead of jumping from one job to another, I've just stopped on the same job. I've got rid of the piles there. There's only a couple of branches left. I might do that later if it's uh, still light enough. But for now, all of the twigs and stuff, I've kept the thicker bits in a separate pile. They can uh, dry out in the greenhouse as well. But for now, I've just got all of these twigs and that, put them in the greenhouse. Just there. So I'll shut this door. Shut that door. Larry Grayson, what about that? Just in case I forget. And then uh, that's sorted. Hi, it's far too wet to be digging and what have you. 
I'll just quickly show you these. Look, these dahlias, man, are still going. And there's still plenty of new growth there on Annie's rose. Looking good, still. And this uh, verbena, or whatever that's called, that's doing all right now. So, one little last view of the garden. And then I'll go and sign off in the shed with me cuppa. <laughs> Hopefully it'll not take that long. See you in a bit. Well, folks, that's it. It's proper dark now. I've got my phone up there. I'm using the torch. It's hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> I, uh, I better put this other light on, in fact. Because, like I say, it is getting a bit dark now. And uh, get the light on. That's a bit better, hopefully. I saw a little job I've been doing there in the dark while I finished my cup of off. As you can see, the spade is nice and clean now. Nice and clean. So I've just got my sharpening stone here. And do a bit of that. Like Jive Turkey once said, sharpen your tools unless you're a fool. <laughs> so, like I say folks, it's pitch black now. Not much of a gardening video today like. Uh, but what can you do? It's November. There is, like I say, jobs you can do, which I've done. But I haven't been filming much because I want to make the most of the daylight hours. So, until the next time folks. Next time. Bye now, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and all that kind of thing. It really is much appreciated. And I'll see you on the next one. As always, I'll leave you on a little song. This is called Roadhouse Blues. See you later. Keep your eyes on the road, your hands upon the wheel. Keep your eyes on the road, your heads upon the wheel. I'm going to the roadhouse, I'm going to have a real <laughs> good time. Let it roll, baby, roll. Let it roll, baby, roll. Let it roll, baby, roll. Let it roll. In the back of the roadhouse, they got some bungalows. In the back of the roadhouse, they got some bungalows. Just for the people that like to go down slow. And he has just one more that's just coming to my head. I'm not going to sing it all like. Because I don't know it all, but see you on the next one, folks. Bye now. It's getting dark, too dark to see. So I'm gonna go home now for my tea. I'm gonna just drift along here till it gets too dark. I'm gonna shut up now, cause it's getting too dark. Ha. I tell you, I couldn't play it right by. I'll switch the lights out so you can see how dark it is. Give us a second. Right. Right, watch this. Turn that off. See you on the next one, folks. Take care. And I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye. Tell you it was dark, didn't I? See you later.